Creating a movie is a long and tedious process, especially those that include a lot of VFX work. In movies, to create all these VFX characters, environments and effects, you need different software at different stages. So the answer is not gonna be simple. Basically, you will need specific software to do specific things throughout the whole workflow and the different stages of the production pipeline. Let me explain. Generally speaking, film production is divided into three stages, which are pre-production, production, and post-production. What we are interested in in this video is mainly post-production, which is where most of the VFX work is done. The VFX pipeline can be divided into many steps, like storyboarding, animatics, pre-visualization, concept art, layout, asset creation, animation, lighting, effects, compositing, and so on. The thing is, at this stage of the production pipeline, you will need different software. So now I'm gonna give you a general idea about it, and the most popular software used in the VFX industry, and specifically in the post-production part of creating movies that include a lot of VFX work. Before we continue, XPPN's Black Friday sale is just around the corner. If you are in the market for a drawing tablet or display tablet, this is gonna be the perfect time to get one. From November 21st to December 2nd, you can get up to 40% off XPPM products on Amazon. Whether you are a new artist or a seasoned professional, I think XPPM offers a wide range of high quality tablets and displays that can suit your different needs. For a more portable option, check out the Artist 13.3 Pro and 15.6 Pro, featuring sleek designs with the red dial that acts as an all-in-one controller a 90% Adobe RBG and a 120 sRGB color accuracy. The Artist 22R Pro and 24 Pro with 2.5K resolution delivering stunning and vivid colors are gonna be perfect for bringing your artwork to life. And for remote work, the Artist 12 is ideal with its 11.6 inch display. But on the other hand, if you were after a pen tablet, consider the Star G430 and Star G640 or Deco 01 version 1, or Deco 01 version 2, or maybe Deco Pro Generation 2, all of them offering sleek and comfortable designs. And if you already have an XP Pen tablet, don't miss the ACK5 shortcut remote for added convenience. So what are you waiting for? Grab your XP Pen tablet today and elevate your creative experience. And let's start with the good stuff. I would say the biggest chunk of the VFX work is gonna be in the process of creating assets, layout, animation, and effects. So creating the world of the movie includes environment creation and 3D modeling of 3D assets, including characters and props. And all of these things can be done using specific and very popular software like 3ds Max, Maya, ZBrush, Houdini, Cinema 4D, Moto, Blender, and so on. These are some of the most popular software that you're gonna hear about, whether it be in VFX, game development, or other fields. Like I said, if you wanna create characters, you're gonna use these because you're gonna use them for modeling and sculpting for the most part. I made the whole characters and props from start to finish, which is a very, very important part of any VFX production pipeline. So if you wanna create imaginary characters, or if you wanna create digital assets or digital doubles, or create any imaginary words, VFX artists in their studios are gonna use some of these software, at least one of these software or a combination of them. For example, software like Max, Maya, or Blender are gonna be used to start modeling the character and environment assets using different techniques such as polymodeling or box modeling and using techniques like kit bashing if you wanna create something complex like a robot from Transformers or something complex like that. But if you want to, for example, create something that is gonna be organic like an alien or monster such as the Hulk or something else really intricate or even things like plant plants, rocks, or something that does not have any edges. And for this case, you're gonna have to use software such as ZBrush because it has a ton of tools that allows VFX artists to create cool looking stuff that can look organic and alive. On a side note, there are other specific software that are gonna help you make characters and environments look even better with a process of called texture painting, and some people call it surfacing as well. 
It has different names by the way, but it is the process of giving color and texture to your 3D objects and there are specific software that are gonna help you to work on this, software such as Substance Painter and Mari. But if you want more, there are software such as Armor Paint and so on. But for the most part, in the VFX industry, Substance Painter and Mari are predominant, especially Mari. And after they create these characters, they need to be animated, right? To do this, we don't have to look further than a software such as Autodesk Maya, which is very, very popular and really powerful at the same time especially in fields like animation, game development, and VFX. So it is popular, I would say, all over the place and in different industries. To do the animation itself, you're gonna need to rig the characters, which is the process of adding bones like the human body skeleton to the characters, I mean the characters mesh. To do this, animators in the VFX industry place specific bones in every part of the body and add specific controls, especially to the face, which has a lot of them, because it has to express a lot of emotions. This allows them to move around specific parts of the face to make and create certain facial expressions. And I would say with the advance of motion capture, the job of VFX artists, especially in the animation part, and talking about time and effort, it is reduced significantly. Because now, they can do more in a short period of time and they can get better results, more flexibility, and avoid certain tedious tasks in animation. One important step we actually skipped is the fact that before creating these characters, you need a concept art and concept artists to create create certain art to give direction to the work later on. And I didn't want to put this up front because it is part of the pre-production phase. Anyways, this is gonna be useful to create something accurate and according to the narrative and story and something that actually looks good. That's why concept art and concept artists are needed to create a variety of sketches and designs to create models and environments. And they actually use 3D software to be honest. In fact, they do this especially if they are gonna create huge environments during which 3D software are gonna help them create perspective and the shape and form of everything else. But concept art for the most part is a 2D artwork, so usually concept artists use software such as Photoshop, which I'm sure you are familiar with. Now back to where we were, to create all these flashy effects and simulations that you can see in movies like water, fire, smoke, destruction effects, and everything else created using particles, this can be done using the other software like we talked about, software such as Max, Blender, Cinema 4 4D, Maya, and so on. But generally speaking, and for the most part, the best software hands down for this purpose is Houdini, because it was created for this purpose, and it was created to do this job since it has incredible tools which made it the leading software in this field, and no one can tell you otherwise. It is so flexible and powerful, and most importantly, it can handle huge tasks. And even though other software can do a lot, I mean a lot of these tasks when it comes to VFX and simulation effects, Houdini is still the best. But let me give you an example. For example, Maya's dynamic simulation tools enable VFX artists to create effects and simulations like fluids, cloth, particles, and rigid bodies. It also includes a comprehensive set of visual effects tools such as and particles and hair, but most importantly, Bifrost, which was first used in the Avatar movie. Max also has great tools that can be used for this, like thinking particles, fume effects, high flow, and many more. Just keep in mind that for the most part, most of these software I just mentioned are using third-party tools, developed by other companies for that, or what we call plugins. Plugins can help VFX artists to be more efficient and to automate repetitive tasks and streamline their workflow. And sometimes, for the most part, they allow VFX artists to do things that are very hard to do in their native software, or sometimes they complement what their software can do. For example, plugins can be used to batch process images or automate the creation of complex effects, which can save a lot of time and effort. And sometimes, they help VFX artists to do things that the 3D software cannot do in the first place, or it has limitations in this regard. Uh, on a side note, I'm trying to make this, I mean this video, as simple as possible. So yeah. One of the most important software in VFX for creating movies is gonna be compositing software. To make it simpler for you, we just talked about 3D software that allow you to do all sorts of effects. And now, after all these effects are created, like fluids, explosions, and other amazing things, it is now time to composite everything into one place. So compositing is basically the process of putting everything that VFX artists worked on, like environments, the sets, the characters, effects, animations, and other things which by the way need a lot of time to understand, they put them into one place and add stuff 
stuff like color correction, 3D tracking, compositing and many other things that actually come after creating the 3D stuff. They put them together using specific software for the most part. And the most popular software in this field is called the Foundry Nuke, which is hands down one of the best software in the field if not the best. And it is used by almost all major VFX studios because it is that good and that important. We also have other familiar software for beginners and even professionals, software such as After Effects, Fusion and so on. And this software, as I said, help VFX artists to put everything together and create a finished and polished product that you can see on screen. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.